Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and I am so sorry that I have not posted in a week. Like I posted in my community tab, we are experiencing another heat wave here in Oregon. It has not been pleasant and that makes filming extremely hard for me to do when I am sweating bullets by the time it is 8 in the morning. So I appreciate you guys letting me take a few days. I am hoping that this week will get better. It looks like it's gonna get better after Wednesday, so I don't know what my filming schedule will be like for this week, but hopefully this video for Monday and then another video on Friday at the very least. So we'll see. I apologize, but the heat has been horrendous and I just cannot film. Uh, when it is 90 degrees. It's really, really hard for me to do. Today, I am going to film my August TBR video, and for this video, I am participating in the Spooky Smart Bitch Readathon by Jordaline Reads here on YouTube. I absolutely love Jordaline. She is so sweet. She is so amazing. I'm sure you guys watch her channel. She's the best. And so, of course, I had to participate in this readathon. I'm very, very excited. So, in this video, we're just going to go through the prompts for the readathon and the books that I have picked to go with said prompt. So, let's get into it. The first prompt is read a horror novel based on a true story or a true crime book. Now, the first book that came to mind when I saw this prompt, the very first book that came to mind, <laughs> The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum. Now, I have never read a Jack Ketchum book. I do know what this story is about. I have seen the uh, movie, so I, I'm aware of what I am getting myself into. I am not excited. <laughs> not excited at all, but everyone talks about this book, and I am very nervous. I do not know how I am going to feel. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. I will be straight up honest with you. Uh, if I can't handle it, I probably will stop reading it. So I am going in just uh, hoping that I can make it through the, through the book. Because I've heard some things. I know what this is about. If you don't know what this is about, it is a... Uh, it's about a teenage girl who is held captive and brutally tortured by her neighbors. And it is based on a true story. It is very horrific. It is very graphic. It is very sad. It is very disturbing. And I do not know how I'm going to get on with this book, but it is the first book that came into my head when I saw the prompt. And um, yeah, I'm very, very, very nervous. <laughs> very nervous. Um, I don't read a lot of extreme horror, and when I do, it doesn't always work out for me. Let's hope I finish it. That's all I can ask for. The next prompt is read a horror book by a LGBTQ plus author. I have several books for this category. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to pick. I have so many books in this whole TBR because I just know that since I'm a, a mood reader that I have no idea what I'm going to want to read <laughs> in the month of August. <laughs> so I'm giving myself many options and hoping that one of them tickles my fancy when it gets <laughs> to the time that I should read it. Uh, so I have actually four books for this prompt. The first one is The Amulet by Michael McDowell. Uh, Michael McDowell is an author that I have never read before, but I'm very excited. Everyone seems to absolutely love his writing, so I am very, very excited. <laughs> this really reminds me of Needful Things by Stephen King, which is my favorite Stephen King book of all time, and I'm very picky about Stephen King books, so that should say a lot. This is about a woman named Sarah whose husband is in a accident and it, le uh, it leaves him in a vegetative state and her mother-in-law blames the entire town for what happened to her son, so she 
uh, gives a stranger a piece of jewelry, which is the amulet, and it sets into motion a bunch of, uh, you know, deaths. So it sounds really good. I'm excited. It sounds like something I'll really like. And I've had it for a few, not a few months, maybe a month and a half or so. I've had this book in my possession and haven't been able to pick it up. So I am looking forward to hopefully reading this one. The next one in the category, I'm kind of cheating because this is not a horror. This is a thriller, but it is Bath House by P.J. Vernon. This is probably the newest book for this category in my possession. Um, I just got this in the mail a few weeks ago. No, not a few weeks ago. A week ago? Nah, something like that. I just got it in the mail. So I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I think it fits the prompt really well. And I know it's a thriller, but thrillers and horror kind of, you know, they kind of go hand in hand sometimes. So I am letting it slide. But this is about Oliver, who is a recovering addict. He has his husband and you know, his life is totally together and they everything's going in the right track until he goes to a gay bathhouse and something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, that I don't know. I don't know anything else about it except that he goes to the bathhouse and then his life gets turned upside down. So I'm excited. It sounds great. I've heard really good things about it. I'm very, very excited for this one. Next up, we have The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling. I have heard so many mixed reviews on this book. People either absolutely love it or they absolutely hate it. I've seen a lot of people say they DNF'd it, which makes me extremely, extremely nervous. But um, it sounds really good. It's about the main character who lies her way into an expedition. She I'm assuming she says that she has more credentials than she actually does and she ends up being alone in in the expedition but she's all alone and all she has is M guiding her through the expedition but M seems to have some secrets and they know about uh, the main character's lies so I'm assuming there's a whole tug of war between those two I'm very interested uh, I don't know if I'm gonna love it. It doesn't sound like something I would absolutely love, but it does intrigue me, so I'm, I'm interested. The last book I have in this category is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. This sounds like so much fun. It's gonna have witchcraft, it's gonna have ghosts, it's gonna have romance with a ghost. I am very, very excited. So this is about the main character who is trying to find the ghost of his murdered cousin and set the ghost free. However, the ghost he summons is actually a bad boy ghost from his school. And yeah, I guess uh, they're gonna like team up and hopefully try to get what they both want and probably fall in love along the way, um, which I am very intrigued about because I don't know about you, but a ghost romance sounds very intriguing to me. Okay, the next prompt is read a translated horror novel. Now I actually have, again, quite a few books in this category. I only have one in my possession though, but the one I have in my possession is Penance by Kane Minato. You guys know that I am absolutely obsessed with confessions. I fell head over heels in love with it. It was amazing. One of my favorite books of all time now. I am obsessed. So of course I am going to have to read her other works because that just is how I roll. I've heard good things about Penance as well, so I'm very excited. From what I know, it is also a revenge story, which I think the author does amazingly well, so I'm very excited about that. So from what I can gather, this book is about five girls who encounter a stranger, and this stranger kind of convinces the other four girls to leave their friend alone with him, and then their friend ends up dead. So I, yeah, it sounds good. I think it's going to be amazing. 
very 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 excited for that so another book that i'm contemplating reading for this prompt is the decagon house murders by yukito aya tsuji that is probably wrong i am very sorry uh that is probably wrong i think it's a uh, haunted house story it sounds very good it sounds like it's gonna have a lot of mystery and it's gonna be a lot of fun and i'm very 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 excited for that one Another book that I am currently thinking about for this prompt is Audition by Ryu Murakami. I have read uh, In the Miso Soup by him and I really liked that one. And this one, I have actually seen the movie Audition that is based uh, on this book. So I am very excited to read this book, but it's basically about a documentary maker who hasn't really dated anyone and um, you know, people are trying to get him to remarry and to kind of date again. So his best friend comes up with this plan to hold fake auditions for like a role. And they're going to look at all these women coming in for the role and pick him a wife like that. Um, it's a very weird plot. <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's very strange. <laughs> I'm very intrigued to see if it is similar to the movie. I did like the movie. Um, so I am very intrigued by this one. So I'm also thinking about reading that one as well. The next prompt is read a horror novel written by a woman. Uh, my favorite kind of prompt if you ask me. It's my favorite kind. So I am going to read The Haunting of Ashburn House by Darcy Coates. This book was actually sent to me by one of you, my lovely subscriber. Thank you so much, Dustin. I appreciate it so much. You are so kind and thoughtful and it means the world to me. Thank you so much. I love Darcy Coates. I think she's amazing. I love her books. I love everything about her. She's the best kind of cozy horror writer in my opinion and I think reading something cozy and fun and a good haunted house story will be just perfect for the month of August. I'm very excited. I don't know much about this story, um, but it's Darcy Coates and it's a haunted house, so I mean, what what could go wrong? Honestly, nothing. Nothing could go wrong. It's gonna be great, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll like it. Another option I have for this prompt is Don't Tell a Soul by... Kirsten or Kirsten Miller. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is also a haunted house ghost story, I believe. Uh, I think this is also YA, if, I, if I'm correct. I don't actually, I don't actually know. I, I have heard not a lot of people talking about this, uh, but I love the cover. I think it's beautiful, and I am very intrigued to see what it's all about. The next prompt is read a horror novel written by a BIPOC author. This book I have been waiting to read and I keep, I don't know why I'm putting it off because I really want to read it, but everyone loves it. I'm very excited. It is The Good House by Tanana Reeve Du. Man, I have a lot of haunted house ghost stories, don't I? It was an accident. I didn't mean to have so many, but um, I am so excited for this one. People say this is scary. People say this is an amazing book. I am literally so freaking excited for this. Um, again, don't know too, too much about it. I'm, I like to go in not knowing too much. You guys know that. I like to keep it, I like to keep it vague that way. Um, you know, I'm surprised and I find everything out for myself and, you know, so I actually don't know much about this except that it is a haunted house story and everyone seems to absolutely love it and I have heard nothing but amazing things about Tanana Reeve Dew's work, so I am so excited for this one. <laughs> the next prompt is read a horror novel you've never seen anyone talk about on social media. This was the hardest prompt in my opinion. I literally did not know how to find a book. I actually went through Barnes and Noble and I just looked for anything that I had no idea that it existed or anyone talked about. So I found this book. I, like I said, didn't even know it existed. I've never heard it talked about by anyone. So <laughs> if you've read it, please let me know. I, I would be thoroughly interested to know if you've read this. 
but this is called Unlovely by Risa Fay. Yes, I, yeah, I'm excited. It sounds pretty good, actually. It's very short as well. It looks very short and small. And uh, it sounds pretty good. It's about um, a girl who just escaped her abusive parents and she has um, body dysmorphia as well. She rents an isolated cottage to try to live the rest of her life just in peace and away from everything that she's just escaped. Um, but then she starts hearing voices in her head and apparently a guy begins to court her. He lives on the other side of the mirror. So, um, it sounds like it's gonna be a, a, an interesting ride. Again, have heard no, have heard nobody talk about this. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> but it sounds interesting. I'm excited for it. Um, the plot where she's trying to date someone that lives on the other side of the mirror or maybe she's not trying to, he's trying to date her. Um, that sounds intriguing. I would like to know more about this mystery man behind the mirror. Um, maybe he's not evil or maybe he is. I have no idea, but I'm intrigued. And the last prompt, probably my favorite prompt, <laughs> probably. I mean, these are all really good prompts, but I'm, I'm very excited for this one. It is read a horror manga, you guys know. You guys know, you guys know I've been very into manga lately. Uh, I have four options here uh, because I probably will actually read all these anyway, so I'm just gonna use this readathon as an excuse to read all of them. But the first one is The Flowers of Evil by Shuzo Oshimi. I am still in the middle of this. I have not finished it. Um, so I am going to try to read the entire series this month. I want to finish it. Um, the entire series. I want to read the whole thing. Um, which I don't think will be that hard for me. But I want to just sit down and do it. I want to finish it. I absolutely love this series so far. It's amazing. Um, I'm probably not going to talk too much about it because I think I might make a video talking about this more in depth. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun to do a video on, so let me know if you guys would be interested in it. But yes, very excited to hopefully finish The Flowers of Evil. Next up, Inside Mari by Shuzo Oshimi. Are you surprised to see another Shuzo Oshimi? Are you? You shouldn't be, because I feel like uh, that's pretty predictable for me right now. So, like I said, I don't know much about this series at all. <laughs> like at all but I think I have up to volume five or six uh, I just know I'm probably going to end up loving it because I love Shuzo Oshimi so much um, I'm gonna keep it as a surprise I know the bare bare minimum of this plot um, but I want to keep it as a surprise because I kind of want to go in without knowing too much I think with his work that works very much in his favor. So I am going to go in kind of blind with this one. Next up we have There's Something Wrong With Us by Natsumi Ando. Uh, this sounds incredibly crazy and intriguing and wonderful. Um, it sounds so, so good. It is about the main character who becomes a traditional Japanese sweets maker. She's 21. She is amazing at what she does, okay? She's incredible. And she meets the heir to the company that she gets hired to work at. She realizes that she knows him. He apparently framed her mother for murder years ago, but apparently uh, they get into a romantic relationship, <laughs> which I just think sounds so interesting. I am so intrigued by this one. I think it's going to be very good, I hope. Fingers crossed. But I think it's going to be really good. It sounds very good, and I am very excited for it. And then, last but not least in this category is Happy Sugar Life by... Tomiyaki Kagisora? Oh, that was very bad. Um, please forgive me. I am very excited to read this though. Um, I have no idea what it's about. No idea. I think it's about a relationship between two girls. One's older and one's younger. Um, uh, I don't know what kind of relationship. 
I don't know anything about it. I just know I f I'm pretty sure it's about a relationship between two girls. Don't know anything else. Um, but it's supposed to be very creepy and disturbing, so I'm very, very, very excited to try this one out. And then, last but not least, in my August TBR is the group read we are all reading, and that is The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. I actually don't know much about this book either. You all should be aware that I keep my uh, knowledge on books pretty low because uh, I just really like to go in with not knowing too much. But from what I can gather, this is about a high school student who is a medium of sorts. He can see ghosts around him at all times. I don't know much more than that. I just know that he can see ghosts. But it sounds very exciting. This cover is absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to read this one. I'm glad it's our group read because I was going to read this this month anyways. So it just works out perfectly for me in that respect. Okay, my friends, that is my August TBR and my TBR for the Spooky Smart Bitch Readathon. I am so, so excited to take part in this readathon. This is actually my first readathon. I've never done one before. Um, mostly because I get nervous with readathons because I'm always worried that I'm gonna have to read books or stick to something that I don't want to stick to. Uh, but I actually really love the prompts for this one and I feel like I have a good selection and I'm not gonna get bored or feel caged in by the prompts or what kind of books I have to read. So I'm very, very, very excited to take part in this readathon and yeah, let me know if you are going to take part in the readathon as well. And if you are, let me know what your TBR looks like, which book you're the most excited for, which prompt you're the most excited for. Let me know if you want any reviews or reading vlogs or anything like that with these books. Uh, just leave me a comment and let me know. That way I can plan ahead for that this month. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you guys enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about books, movies, makeup, horror, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope I see you guys soon-ish. I cannot promise when my next video will be, but I hope I see you guys fairly soon, and I hope you are having a great day, night, week, whatever. I just hope you're having a good one, and I will see you later. Bye!